With the state fair about to open, the CBS 11 I team has taken a close look at an unsolved mystery involving one of the most valuable pieces of fair history. Brian New tonight looks to unlock the cold case of a missing key. Eight, 11. In a building lined with memorabilia, where history can be found behind every door. There are artifacts packed away, stored in the basement, that some are still hoping could shine light on an unsolved mystery that dates back to the Texas Centennial Expo. This was not just a city of Dallas or Texas event. This was a national and international World's Fair style exposition. The year was 1936. With the world looking on, fair officials knew opening day needed to be big and needed to shine. So to open the gates of Fair Park, they needed a key like none the world had ever seen before. It was bejeweled. It was extravagant, $50,000 worth of jewels and gold. The nine-inch long key featured a 14-carat diamond, four strands of pearls, and more than 400 gems. That was a piece of history. It opened the birthday of Texas. When the fair closed its gates, local jeweler Arthur Everts proudly displayed the historic key in his store in downtown Dallas, and it stayed there for years until one day suddenly that heirloom was was missing the key was gone and 67 years later no one knows where it went this unsolved mystery has captured the imagination of jeff kotner who is not only the head of security at the fair but a former dallas police detective i worked for the dallas police department for 35 years love mysteries According to the original theft report filed in June of 1952, the world's most gorgeous and expensive key was thought to have been taken from the showcase. But the detective noted he interviewed many employees and had no suspects. And the jewelry store owner told the newspaper everyone thought the key was in the shop, having a loosened pearl reset. It's a big missing piece. As time went by, the investigation turned cold but not the theories. I'm leaning towards theft. Everyone seems to have one, and over the years, some have taken on a Hollywood-like twist. It could have been somebody that's, that was connected uh, to the store. They worked up this elaborate scheme to get the item removed, and then they have it in their own personal collection. It could be as simple as an accident. I wouldn't go necessarily Liam Neeson and say, we're gonna come find you. I don't have money, but what I do have are a very particular set of skills. There's a chance whoever has the key by now has no idea of its history, no idea that it could unlock one of the oldest mysteries of the State Fair of Texas. In Dallas, Brian New, CBS 11 News.